Hi, uh, here's, um, here are a few tips on adult learners trying to master the complex uh, Nastalik script of Urdu. Um, I was pleasantly surprised to see that uh, one of the uh, most popular keyboards um, for Urdu is actually from India. It's called the Desh keyboard, and I'm going to illustrate that one. But first, here's a little graphic that shows you that it's made with love in India. So for those who think Urdu is only the language of Pakistan, uh, this should be news for you. Uh, definitely, it's their language, but it's also a prominent language in India, much more than people realize. Um, so let me illustrate a couple different keyboards, starting with the Desh keyboard that comes out of India. Um, let me take the translate app and uh, start with uh, the Desh keyboard. Now this has uh, the admirable virtue of allowing uh, a voice input. Khuda jab husn deta hai. So this means when God gives you beauty, with that comes a certain delicacy of your constitution. So let's see if it got that. The translation is as good as it gets um, with uh, Google Translate, but let's see if it caught what I was saying. So there you go. Um, it was pretty good. And then there's another keyboard which uh, helps in another way. And this keyboard, I don't know who the manufacturer is, but um, when I use the Urdu alphabets, now here's the tricky thing for adult learners. The consonants in Urdu kind of flow into each other in ways that are quite difficult to master. So if I want to write a um, simple name, and I got this idea from Anjumaltaf's uh, little blurb on how um, Devnagari um, or Hindi writers can pick up the Urdu alphabet, not as learning a new language, Urdu is basically Hindi written in another script. That's his point of view, and I totally agree. Here it's a matter of, you know, the thrill of a puzzle, um, basically being able to write this uh, in this script, which um, is basically Hindi written in code. That's what he says. And let's see if that works. So uh, to write uh, a shok, uh, uh, as I said, this is the biggest challenge for adult learners, but this is kind of simplified because the joining together of consonants happens in front of your eyes and you, you can learn from it. So if I take the word uh, Ashok, I'd write it in capital letters, Urdu capital letters as Alif, uh, Sheen, Wow, and Kaf. And it does the joining together and now i can see that it got a shock and I can, a shock there you go it picked it up so two different um keyboards that help in different ways one that can make it a lot easier to text chat or uh go from voice to script which is the first the dish keyboard from india and then this one, I don't know where it is from, could be from India or Pakistan. But this one helps in a whole a different way, which is uh, writing things out in the Urdu alphabet. Uh, and uh, Anjum Altaf calls it the first milestone, which is being able to write Hindi words in capital Urdu letters. And then the software level of things shows you how the uh, consonants um, you know, Alif and Kaf, at the end, two ends, they remain uh, unaffected, but Sheen and Wow get combined. And this is the sort of thing that, apart from 
trying to just memorize the alphabet can help you as a live demonstration. So that's all I wanted to say.